Hi, welcome back. Sometimes we may need to improve the Wi-Fi coverage outdoor, so the customer can still have Wi-Fi access even if they walk to the outdoor cafe. The mesh and the Wi-Fi 6 are two major technologies we can use when we improve the Wi-Fi outdoor. With the mesh, we can have multiple access points working together and combined into a single NAN. So even the customer working through these different Wi-Fi access points, they don't need to change the Wi-Fi accessing. The mobile phone will just connect to different Wi-Fi access points automatically because they're using a single Wi-Fi NAN. That's the advantage of the mesh. With the mesh, it can take in large amount of device. Like the Netgear Wi-Fi access point, it can take up to 200 users connecting at the same time. Recently, we have a customer who wanted to set up the Netgear access point at the plaza, but he's facing a small problem. First, let's just move to the whiteboard and see what is the situation he's dealing with now. If you need any help, please feel free to contact us. Here's the situation the customer is facing now. The customer has a good Wi-Fi around the hotel. Recently, he wanted to extend the Wi-Fi to the plaza. There's about 100 feet between the plaza and the hotel. You can see it's quite difficult to wire the cable from the hotel to the plaza. You need to pass through the tree, also there's the road, which means they need new construction, which the customer doesn't want. So the solution come across my is the outdoor access point. Next year, they have the Wi-Fi 6 outdoor access point. So he planned to install the outdoor access point here and it come up with the mesh with the original access point. But the problem is the outdoor access point only accept PoE, but we cannot wire the Ethernet cable from the hotel to the plaza, right? So let, now let's see what the solution we come up with. In. This is the Wi-Fi 6 access point in the hotel. We provide the Ethernet accessing for the customer around the hotel. It's connected to the PoE switch by using the Ethernet cable. So there's no need additional power source for this access point. The PoE switch will provide both power and data to the access point. Now this is the outdoor access point the customer plan to use in the plaza. You can see there's no network cable connecting from this outdoor access point to the PoE switch. It's going to come up with the mesh network, the first, the first Netgear access point and the second one. And the thing is, let me just take off this access point and you can see. This outdoor access point only supports the PoE, so we cannot use the DC power data to power this access point. We, we can either use the PoE switch or the PoE injector to power this access point. As why the Ethernet cable from the plaza to the hotel is not so possible, so the PoE switch is not an option. It leaves only the PoE injector. Now let me just put it back. This is the outdoor PoE injector. The only purpose for this injector just power this outdoor access point. So we don't need the data from this PoE injector. We need to use this rubber to block one of the data port. And you also may see this power source is separate from this PoE injector. What's the purpose? Why we need to separate this power source? It just make this system more reliable. You see, if the power source is built into this PoE injector, it will increase the heat inside of the PoE injector. Now the power source is being separate, the temperature will be lo lower. You can even bury both of them to under the ground if you want. And the distance, the maximum distance from this PoE injector to the Nike access point is about 300 feet. So it, it could be quite fast as long as you find the AC outlet around the plaza, it will be fine. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about this setup, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.